welcome aboard Otter. We're on Barton Lake in southwest Michigan. This lake is no, known for having a lot of swans. I was here last fall and I counted over 40 of them. This is my campsite for the night. Off in the distance we got a flock of swans. I love this place, it's so peaceful. After the motor boats go home, we're pushing a full moon. Not quite. But it will be a bright moonlit night. It's supposed to be clear all night. Bullfrogs are starting to croak. Sun's just getting ready to set through those trees. Gonna run out of daylight here pretty soon, so I think it's time to get the mattress set up and settle in for the night. This is why I do this. Goodbye, little buddy. He was there all night. How about a 
little tour of Otter as we're on our way. We got the cockpit or the cabin. Walk through a little bit of a duck and then you come up to the hatch and you can. It's really cool up forward. You can hear the sound of the water. Pretty stable boat, as witnessed by the fact that I'm not piloting it right now. It's quiet and there's not a lot of people around, so we'll be okay. There's our namesake. Got the controls and electronics. The helm. Electric start and stop. Choke. Horn. Not very loud. Got a voltmeter to check the battery. The old Evinrude simplex controls from 1956 and the motor to go with them. Now unless you live in Alaska that's not something you see every day on a lake in Michigan. The guy's got a pond or a float plane at his dock. That's pretty cool. really love to have a house like this on the lake but it's just not financially viable so the next best thing is having a boat on a lake <laughs> which if you do it a piece at a time a week at a time and paycheck to paycheck and you stick with it you can end up with one just like this. There's the boat ramp, where in an hour or two, Julie's going to come pick me up. just a little shorter or that bridge was a little higher we could get through there into another lake which is linked to yet another lake and yet another lake by a series of creeks <laughs> 